Back in September of 2022, James spotted a roof line in the desert that caught his eye. After a few failed attempts to contact the owner, next time we were back in New Mexico to prep the race truck for the road trip home, we were able to get a chance to check it out. Well, no. This guy said, he goes, Chuck, do you want this over my passage? Is it a 944? No. Or 28? Oh, yeah, it is a 28. That's why there's plenty of room for a small block Chevy in that. You see how wide that motor is? I got three of these, actually. There's something quite ironic about seeing a pontoon boat out in the desert. Oh, you got a duster out here too. Uh, it's a demon, isn't it? Is it? Is it a demon? Yeah. Sweet. Wow, look at this thing. Yeah, this is actually a true. Wow. Look at those high back seats in there. Are those Mopar? Well, the only thing is they look like charger seats. Oh, yeah. Is he storing them in there? No, they're they're in there. The front seat used to be a bench seat across the front. Mind of the yard in order to get this in and turned around, then he'd have to almost. Uh, oh, we got the hubcaps. Yeah, these look like old Mopar seats or something. Do you take them out of like a charger or something? Or? Front seat? Yeah. No, they were original. These are original? They make high backs like this? Really? The front seats. The front seats. The bench was in there, so. No, it was, um. So we got the emblem on the front. Dude, this thing's beautiful. <laughs> this thing's gorgeous. Wow. Wow, you just never know what you're gonna find out here in the desert. We're outside Alamogordo, um, and we found this 65 split window uh, camper bus, and it's just, it's just beautiful, and it's it's dry, it's not rusty. So what you find out in the desert is super cool. All this was green when I saw it last. All this, all this tall stuff. How cool is that, man? You see the window on the other side? It's got the shag door panel there. You see the windows on the other side? Is that original or just the cool? Riviera camper windows like saw one green one? Yeah. Inside's all blasted out, but. Last on the road since 86, you know? Holy crap. Got 1930s golf clubs in it. Got a 1972 Miller Life High Life beer can in there. It's super cool. Like said, I mean, it's just clean as a whistle, man. Wow. Love all. 
fresh or deep fresh? Which one? Yeah. I love all the little little niches it's got. Like the lock up here. Yeah, the lock. The lock up, up top. top. That's different. This is deep. We'll see on Riviera's they really didn't have a lock down here because they didn't want you locking yourself in and burning yourself to death. So in order to lock it, you know, oh. and then somebody somebody put a beetle handle or something outside to fix that. Yeah. It's got all the cool little stuff in it. The front bumper, hey, the front bumper brace is there. What's that? So the front bumper brace is there also. The top of the bumper. That's the, that's what makes that thing look cool, you know, when it's on there. Yeah, that little. There we go. Got the vents. So cool, man. No snake. What's on the steel here? What's that? Wire hanging back. Looks like somebody took the coil off. Coil. Somebody needed a coil. Oh, see, I sent someone come out here and took it. Yeah, keep the critters out of it. Looks like it's got a. Somebody had a, like a aftermarket exhaust on it. Yeah, it does. And That's a. I built that motor, it's a 1600. 1600 dual port. Is it a dual or a single? Um, That's all right, I don't remember. I built that in 81, so. It's a single port. Single port, yeah. Yeah, with like a remote oil filter. Yeah, I know that. Oil pressure switch. Yeah. A little nice desert patina on it. <laughs> Some you know very what? nice custom touches inside. Do you have plans for it? <sighs> yes, no. I did at one time, yes, but now as I'm getting older and older and time's running out, what's more furry? Yeah. Well, it's really neat. I got a lot of miles. I put quite a few miles. I'd say I probably put, well, that motor, I rebuilt it, put a new motor in it, and I drove it all over New Mexico going camping. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I used to do a lot of spelunking. You know what spelunking yeah, is? Yeah, sure. Yeah, caving. And that was my caver vehicle. That's fantastic. I could go where my that Volkswagen went, where four wheel drives were going, and I just fall right on them. But, 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 but. Yeah. But I've always been a Volkswagen. I've always been around Volkswagen all my life. I got a bunch of. I use the storage now. It's full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you never know if you you don't ask. So you got to knock on some doors and see if you can actually check out these old vehicles. And I'm just flabbergasted on how awesome this thing is.